Grace and peace, grace and peace. You already know who it is. This is me, Brother Minister Everett Hakeem Gilamel of Agape Speaks Outreach. I'm just coming to you guys real quick. Uh, nothing in particular. I just wanted to um, come to you guys to share with you um, just a, a word of encouragement. Um, a word of encouragement, edification, exaltation. Um, while I'm sitting here, um, doing some book signing as well as um, mailing out some, um, getting ready for some orders to be mailed out for um, some supporters. Um, I want to just um, invite a few people in real quick. I'm not going to hold you guys long, uh, so just give me a moment as I just invite a few people in. And um, if you can give me the favor, um, also, you know, maybe um, share this live, share this live as I invite a few people in. I'm not going to hold you guys long, I promise you. Just, uh, just wanted to share a moment with you guys and have you guys share a moment with me while I um, sign some books and uh, prepare them for being mailed tomorrow. Um, again, um, it's just a blessing, you know, um, just to, you know, be alive, be living in the land of the living. Um, for those who... Um, who've been with me on this ride of 21 days to godly success. I want to again thank you guys, send you my gratitude for, you know, your support and, you know, your obedience into, you know, following the spirit of God in your own self-development. Um, it definitely was um, a wonderful thing to do and start now a new year, breaking in a new year. Um, I pray that you guys received what you needed to receive and I pray also that you shared it with some others to give them an opportunity to come alongside of the journey of growing together and um, just allowing people to just, you know, experience what it means to transform their life in Christ. And so I wanted to just share with you guys to let you know that, um, you know, you are royal. You know, you're of the royal bloodline and um, you are of a royal priesthood. That royal priesthood is the priesthood of Christ in the Bible it's called Melchizedek. Um, but in Judges 8 and 18, it tells us in Judges 8 and 18, it says that, So they answered, As you are, so were they. Each one resembled the son of a king. So just as God is, we are. You know, no matter what, you know, um, the inclinations we may have, no matter what type of shortcomings we have, you know, deep inside, eternally and internally, we are royal. So you are royal because you were born of a royal priesthood. And just as in, in uh, the book of Judges and six, you know, it was an angel that told Gideon that he was to go out and that he was to save the Israelites. And as he began to go out to save the Israelites, he was um, approached by enemies. And this enemy, which was an army that was approaching Gideon, responded. And he says, I can't do that. And so even though Gideon felt that he was not equipped or he was not in the right fortitude to defeat the army, which was an army of 300, you know, God had already equipped him because God made him royal. And when we are made royal, you know, we will go through challenges and situations in life, but we will come out more than conquerors. We will be victorious because God created each and every one of us on the sixth day. He saw that it was good and he rests from his creation and you are that creation. And so just as Gideon was approached by his enemies and, and inside him, he felt a little fear. He felt a little um, discouragement. He had to reflect back by the angel coming to him because God is going to send an angel to each one of us to affirm, you know, that angel could be in the form of a loved one, family member, or friend, you know, or it could be a still small voice that God will send to affirm to you that regardless of what you went through, regardless of what you go through, regardless of what people think of you, regardless of what you think of yourself, you still are royal because you're God's masterpiece. You were his divine and greatest creation. He breathed in you and I the breath of life 
his own breath, and he made you and I in his image and after his likeness. So whenever, you know, uh, a great architect like God himself creates something and he puts his own self in it, you know, that means a lot to invest itself into his creation. So we just got to be mindful that, you know, though there may be a few challenges, just like Gideon, we have to walk and talk the words of being uh, victorious. We have to walk and talk defeat. You know, when I say that, it means that we got to walk and talk that we are defeating the things that's trying to defeat us. We got to walk like champions. Um, we may feel at a disadvantage at times, but knowing that God is, you know, with us, in us, and for us, we can understand that there's greater in us than we that is in the world. So remember, just like Gideon had to be reminded by the angel that he was royal, you have to allow God's spirit, the Holy Spirit, which is the angel of all angels, to let you know it reminds you that you are royal. So just keep that in mind, you know, that you are no longer a slave. You are no longer uh, defeated. You're no longer um, ab abnormal. You're no longer average. You are a unique expression of God himself. You are a divine creation. You are God's masterpiece. So just keep that in mind as you continue to grow and and, and, and walk in the manner of whom God called you to walk in. As you imitate God on purpose eternally and every day, it will allow you to continue to grow. It will allow you to continue to think and grow godly rich, that you will be wealthy in spirit and in truth, and you'll be rich in peace. So this is what it's all about. So again, I just wanted to just encourage you guys, as well as encourage myself, and, um, you know, do me a favor, don't forget to hit that share button and subscribe um, to the notifications and share this out with someone. Spread the good news. You know, this is good news when you're being encouraged, edified, and uplifted in your natural and your original self. So that's good news. The resurrection is a fact. It's still here. And we are still living and moving in the Holy Spirit. So with that, I just wanted to share that with you guys as I continue to sign these books and prepare them to be shipped out tomorrow to those supporters. So don't forget, if you haven't gotten your book, you can um, send me your cash app and uh, I'll get you your book out, mail it out to you, sign it and all. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can also go to Amazon.com and you'll find it there. You type in the title and um, you can order it there. So, again, thank you guys for um, going through the 21 days of 21 godly successful days. And um, uh, be sure for those who were uh, a part of it, don't forget, those who were a part of it, who went through the whole 21 days with me, send me your, um, your email and I will give you a copy. I will give you a copy free of the 21-day journal. So that will be something wonderful and great you can, can do, you can do to reflect on what you were doing for those 21 days and continue it throughout the rest of the year because it don't stop there. Remember, we're not creating a New Year's resolution. We're creating a New Year resolution. So, all right, if you have just coming on, definitely check out the recap. And don't forget, Miss Bird, don't forget, inbox me your email so I can send you your free copy of the 21-day journal. All right? Peace and blessings. Shalom.